<laughs> well, on this mileage unknown, I'm driving my pup's 56 Volkswagen around. I'm trying to see how it's running because there's a pretty big Volkswagen air cooled me, and this car has sat for a long time. And honestly, when we threw the engine in this car, we damaged the clutch, the, the pressure plate, I can tell, because it is making some noise. So um, I'm kind of concerned about actually driving it very far to this air cooled meet. Uh, I'm just going to go on a little bit of a cruise. We'll pull over and I'll do a quick walk around on the car so you guys can see it. But I don't know that this is going to make it to the air cooled meet tomorrow just because every time I touch that clutch, it starts howling. And I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's definitely, definitely not happy. And so I really don't want to get uh, stuck somewhere with a blown out clutch just because I wanted to make it to a meet. So um, plans on this car anyway are, are to do some, some pretty extensive work in a little bit. All right, so I just pulled over. We're just gonna do a quick walk around my dad's 56 Volkswagen. Um, this is a project that's been in my family, my life for a very, very long time. I was probably, I'm gonna say, eight or nine when my dad bought this. So it's a good, been in the family for probably 25 to 30 years or so. Um, this is one that I actually did in high school as a project car. We did a lot of uh, body and paint work on it. I didn't actually do the, the paint job. I did some of the primer work. My, my, my auto body teacher actually did the, the final spray of the paint. You can see my, my dad's uh, bumped into a few things over the years. So it probably could stand to have a, a respray at some point. You see he's got the Porsche fuchs on it i actually think it sits too high in the back where we might end up lowering this a notch but it's definitely one of the projects that's just never going to go anywhere um, my dad actually said when he's gone which is i hope a, a very very long time from now it ends up being my car now right now i've got the back seat out of it my brother borrowed it for his car for for something really quick and you see the interiors getting a little old. It definitely needs a little love here and there, but it's not bad for a nice little cruiser. So this car has just a stock 1600 single port in it. And this honestly is probably one of the best running Volkswagen engines I've ever owned. Um, this was in my 69. Volkswagen for a lot of years and uh, it never let me down when we threw it in this car like I said I think we damaged the clutch we've had problems with the idling the carb actually really really needs to come out and be rebuilt um, when I pulled it apart or when I pulled that the idle shutoff solenoid out it was gummed up into the carburetor I pulled these two jets and blew them out really quick to just try and get it to idle so it's idling now but the clutch just sounds like it's ready to explode so this engine's going to come out and go back into something else honestly this poor car has had more engines in it than i care to care to count um, when it came down here or when i brought it down here from idaho for my dad uh, the engine that was in it had water in it we actually flushed it out and got it running really well 
um, well, after pulling the carbs apart because they were super gunked up and sending them to someone to rebuild because we just couldn't get them straight, we ended up uh, getting it running really well. It was a nice little 1776 engine and uh, we're driving it to lunch one day, broke a valve spring, broke, you know, and it just, after that it was like, all right, time to pull the engine. Let's send it to a, a shop to get it built. And the shop was super backed up. So we haven't been able to send that, that bigger engine to the shop yet. We decided to just throw my 1600 single port in it for now just to cruise it around. But sounds like it's going to have to come out be, back out because of that clutch, so unfortunately. I am going to limp it back to the house. Um, probably the next time you see it is when we pull the engine out. We'll take a look at the clutch then and see how bad it actually is. Thank you. 